Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today we're going to be talking about the books I DNF'd in 2017. It is here that I'd like to say I realize my lipstick looks like a haphazard lizard with no thumbs put it on. I recently purchased the new Fenty Matte Lipstick, and the shape is terrible and results in sloppy application. Consider this a beauty guru 0 to 10 would not recommend review. For anyone who stumbled upon this video and you don't know what DNF means, DNF means did not finish. In 2017, there were only four books I didn't finish, and so let's just get on into that list. The first book on this list is Passenger by Alexander Bracken. I honestly can't fully remember the synopsis of this book. Basically it's about a girl who finds out that she's like a time traveler and she ends up meeting this pirate or something. I didn't get very far into this book because I found it absurdly boring. I've never read any other Alexander Bracken books. I'm not sure if I will based on the little I read of Passenger. It just wasn't good. It dragged. The next book on this list is Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. The main character in this book struggles with an eating disorder as well as homelessness and cutting. I know a lot of this is own voices for the author and that she based a lot of the book on on her own life, but unfortunately I found this book to be extremely dark. Although I don't struggle with the same things as the main character, I still found this book to be extremely triggering and it almost acted like a how-to on like how to cut yourself and it just made me really uncomfortable so I decided to put this book down. The main character also has a love interest that is a lot older than her, like he's in his like mid to late 20s and she is only 17, so that also made me uncomfortable and so I just said no to this book and didn't keep reading it. The third book on this list is The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I went into this book with high hopes because I really enjoyed The Host by Stephanie Meyer and I know Twilight has bad rap and it's not written very well but The Host was actually really good. I really enjoyed it a lot. So I thought that this might be more in the vein of that and her writing might be better. So the main character of this book is a scientist and she used to work for the government until she got to a point where the government didn't need her anymore so they tried to kill her but she escaped and so she's been on the run for a few years. I don't really know much else about the book because I DNF'd it because it was really bad. I got about four hours into the audiobook and just nothing was happening. I was so disappointed and a lot of it didn't feel like Stephanie Meyer did any research about science or anything. Like I can't speak to it because I'm not like a scientist, but a lot of it just felt like she was making it up as she went. I don't know. I didn't finish the book. It wasn't good. So if you were hoping that Stephanie Meyer had written another book as good as The Host, just, just don't. Don't read it. It's not good. And finally, the last book I DNF'd was Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This was actually an accidental DNF. I didn't mean to not finish it. I actually read quite a bit of it. It's okay so far. I don't really like love it. I don't hate it either. It is basically a book about incest which is kind of weird, but the two main characters have a really hard home life and they're the oldest in their family and they don't have a lot of money and so they basically have to take care of their whole family because their mom's an alcoholic and so that closeness kind of like brings them together like really, really together. And so, like I said, it was an accidental DNF. I think I'll probably go back and finish it because I don't have that much left. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna rate this two or three stars because it's not very good so far. But I've heard from a lot of people that they absolutely love this and they find it heartbreaking and stuff. So I'm waiting to get to the point where I'm almost okay with the incest, but at this point I'm not. I'm just not. It's a little weird. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the books I DNF'd in 2017. I actually did a pretty good job of finishing all the books that I started. Let me know down below if you just said no to some books and didn't finish them. And also let me know if you finished any of these books and you feel like I should give them a second go. I probably won't, but you can let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day. Maybe you are the one for me.